Welcome to this first section of this training. Let's start at the start page with Lift Designer. And before I start, I want to show you that under tutorials, you find exactly the videos you are just looking at and some other videos about um, the software and you have some news about Digipara. Uh, but let's start creating a new elevator just by clicking on new elevator. And then we have a wizard with uh, six steps. So we have some answers, some basic question. In this case, I choose metric. You give some general project data into the fields and then uh, whether you have want to have a traction or hydraulic elevator with or without machine room um, and the number of passengers and the payload. So I'm choosing a traction elevator, a top traction elevator with machine room and 1000 kilograms. And in the step number three, you choose the roping and the location of the counterweight. So if I click on counterweight left, you see in the background that the counterweight is moved to the left side. So we have some preview here. And um, in num step number four, you choose mainly the number of floors. So let's choose four floors here. And you might choose the front landing door, but I will do that in a later step. In step number five, you can choose the services, the distance between the different floors, the floor designations. And let me give some rear services here. So I choose this here, I pick. And if I click on update view, you see in the background that uh, some rear services also appear here in this uh, vertical section. In the final stage, we choose the drawing template. A drawing template or sheet template determines what is the size of the drawing? What is the title block, the border, and the content of the drawing? I mean, what sec which section is in what which place? So this is the main answer. So let me click on finish, and then in the background, the different drawings get loaded. And we see we have a 3D view, we have a plan view drawing. Um, some more information about languages. So the Lift Designer application here is in English language. And also the drawing is in English language, but this is um, independent. So if I go to project, I can choose another language. So in case the uh, drawing has the wrong language, switch it uh, to the right language. So if I choose German, for instance, you see that all words become uh, translated into German and uh, or Spanish. But for this case, I will go back to English. Keep in mind that, that, that not all translations are available. Finally, I want to save this project. So I click on save and now I can save this project. Let me save this as project one. And this is the file that we have now created, the project one.ld3 file. And if we look in the file explorer, we see that there is one file, it's 174 KB. So it's not a big file, but this is the file you must save. This is the file, all content you create here in this project is stored in this file. So if you later want to make a deviation of this project, you can easily copy and paste this file and uh, modify the second file or so. Uh, 